Hey everybody. So we have spent the last couple of weeks purging things out of our front room. We have this front uh, room in the front of the house that I think used to be some sort of... I think a dining room. Dining, dining room or not a patio garden space, but that kind of vibe. Because I think the old owners had wicker furniture and stuff out there. And it's got wainscoting. It's got wainscoting and stuff. Anyway, we're turning it into sort of a lounge space. Um, and so we've been doing some purging and we're giving away things on the local Buy Nothing group. By the way, your area probably has one. Um, so look it up. It's a great way to not only get things that you might need, but you have no budget for, or give give things to people who could use them that you don't need anymore. Anyway. Um, Plus the kids took the big table. Yeah, table. my daughter took the big antique table that belonged to my grandmother and it's gonna be at their house. And so anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is put a new area rug. So we're out rug shopping this morning and of course, I want something sort of vintage inspired. He wants something more modern and abstract. So as usual, we're on opposite ends of the spectrum. So we need to find a compromise. And this is with everything. It's like, we both dread it because we know this is gonna be a, a big struggle bus. But anyway, we're gonna go look, physically look at some things at the stores and see if we can get on a similar page even if we end up having to order something, we'd like to see what's available in person first and kind of hope they have something in the right color and size in stock, maybe. All right, let's go see what we can find. I'll be back. Okay, we found a couple of rugs at Lowe's that we like. One didn't come in the right size. Um, we're, we need to remeasure the room and... Um, see if it works. See us. if it works, yeah. Um, I'll put pictures here actually of both rugs. They're from Lowe's. We're gonna head to one other shop today and then go home and have lunch and we'll see what happens. I'll be back. We're gonna try pennies. We're gonna try JC Penny. Sure. We like JC Penny. I like pennies. Yeah. I'll be back. Vlog yet? I have no idea. <laughs> it's Monday afternoon, um, August 19th. It's 5 40 p.m. Um I've it's Monday. So I edited the vlog first thing this morning and got it up and scheduled. I um, got caught up in my daily drawings and everything and we'll make a post later tonight. I went out, did a little shopping with my sister, ran a couple of quick errands, including stopping at Redberry Barn in Sherwood. If you're in the area, do stop there. They have a really great bakery and little shop and sell local homemade goods. I picked up two chicken pot pies for Bob and Elizabeth. Um, and so they'll have, be having those for dinner. I'll probably just have broth and bread because you know, it's me. I had a little too much fiber and stuff yesterday and yeah. Anyway, um, I've been working on Bob's sweater in the meantime. I need to have him try it on to see how long it is and see how many more rows I need to add before I do the ribbing. And just sort of chilling and relaxing. I did get really lucky when she and I were out earlier. Um, talk about bringing good luck and good energy. She, we stopped at Goodwill really quick because I haven't been thrifting in I don't know how long. And I really, really needed some cotton sheets to use for sewing fabric um, mock-ups and things. It's a really inexpensive way to get fabric is to buy a thrifted sheet or a linen tablecloth or something like that. Um, Fabric is just so expensive. Anyway, for $28 and change, I got two king size bed skirts and a one, one set of king size sheets, um, all in colors I can either work with or, or that are easily dyed. They are cotton. The bed skirts, um, the base of the bed skirt is a nice quality white cotton. Um, so I can just cut the colored, um, edge off and use the white, which I need for an upcoming project for something I want to make for myself. And um, yeah, that was really, really great. I was thinking I was going to have to go buy fabric at Joann's or something at Marshall's. And yeah, anyway, um, I got a laundry done. Our front room is empty, you guys. The rug is on the way. We did choose one. I'll put it here. Um, all the giveaway things are gone. Yeah, so we're gonna get the rug put in first. We'll get some things on the walls rearranged. We've got some holes to patch, but one thing at a time. 
So anyway, uh, it's been a nice, chill, relaxing day. Can't say I'm mad about it. Now I do have this week off from babysitting. So I think if my sister wants, we will go out again after she's done with work and for a couple of hours, maybe go do some more shopping or something. And she leaves Wednesday, so why not? All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, I don't know how it can be a chill, but busy day at the same time, but yeah. Anyway, um, I it's 5.42 p.m. on Tuesday, August 20th. So it's not a babysitting day, I have the week off. Um, but I was, I went downstairs and did dishes and just random, you know, house chores and then realized I had to come back up here because I forgot to do a couple things. Um, so I did my daily drawings and things over there. I also have been wanting to look for a plastic skull. Kathy Whitney sent me a post by someone, um, I'll put her name here. And if I can find the post, if I can link the page, if it's public, I don't know that it is. Um, I will put it in the video description. But anyway, the person made a sort of a pincushion and scissors holder out of a skull. Now, I went way farther with it, of course, than she did, but I was very inspired and I've been looking for a plastic skull to do it out of since then. And it is drying. It is not done. But yeah, it's got tape on it because things are drying. Um, the eyes and the nose are pincushions. Um, there's a big cup here that will be where you can put um, scissors, tools, crochet hooks, whatever. Um, you can use it for office tools. You can put push pins in the eyes for your bulletin board. Anyway, it's pretty cute. Um, the hardest part was cutting a hole in the plastic skull. Um, and then I'm putting together a little mini. I'm going to try this. This is a watercolor book. And I have a little mini kit together. I like the idea of just having something mini mini I can take with me wherever I'm going and um, do a little drawing. There is a channel that I will link below, that I will link below. That she, This is all she does, this is not my idea. And I'll link her channel below. She is so talented and I'd love to give it a try. So I ordered a couple things off Amazon that I didn't already have. I did have some things, but um, we're gonna try it. This is the watercolor palette. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Anyway, I'm gonna shut things off now and go downstairs, now for real now, <laughs> and um, play a couple games until everybody else is done with their work day. And um, oh, before I do that, I'm gonna make a to-do list. <laughs> um, and uh, then we're gonna go out to dinner. My sister is still here, so anyway, I'll be back. Now for real, the last thing is done, the to-do list, it's finished. Now I really can go downstairs, holy cow. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is Wednesday morning, August 21st, and my sister's on her way home to Utah. Um, and um, this morning I started my creative endeavors off with disassembling some of what I did to the skull pincushion last night because there was too much on it and I didn't want it to be too Halloween-y. It is a skull, but anyway, I also didn't want the cup I put inside to hold scissors or crochet hooks or whatever to be white. So I took everything off of it and lined the inside of the cup with more of the dark brown felt. And I love this, how that looks. I'm letting everything dry. Then we'll put pins in the eyeballs and the nose and we'll put some stuff in here. We'll get some shots. I'll put it here. Okay, then I'm working on collecting and or making items for a mini um, sketching kit, watercolor sketching kit, and um, including, I've just, look at how teeny that is. I've discovered these little teeny tiny journals. Um, and I ordered myself a mini watercolor palette that was, it was empty when I ordered it and when it is closed up it looks it's really tiny um but when you're doing these little sketches you don't need much paint so anyway um I wanted a bag for it so I have this new logo I've done that's available to my patrons and supporters oops hold on 
I printed it on my inkjet printer onto some fabric. I covered it with iron-on vinyl be that I had in, in my stash because the inkjet printer ink is not waterproof. And then I made a patch out of it and I put it on the front of a bag, I made, a little bag I made. So that'll be cute and I can just grab it and go or paint in my chair or whatever. So, all right, now I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I'm gonna do my daily drawings and catch up on my to-do list, hopefully. Not planning on going anywhere today because I just don't feel like it, but yeah. Um, I think that's it for the moment. All right, I'll be back. Okay. It's almost eight o'clock, which is usually when I'm drinking my evening summer iced coffee, but we're gonna go get a late evening walk-in instead. At least a quick one. Get some steps. I guess we do need them. Well, I think they only have like, how many steps do I have? I only have like 1,500 steps. I, I don't even know, because since Junior was born, I don't, I rarely put my Fitbit on anymore. So. Anyway, uh, speaking of which, we are doing some last minute babysitting this week for a couple hours tomorrow and a few hours on Sunday. So, which is fine. Anyway, we're gonna go walking. I'll see what I can see and take some pictures. I'll be back. I haven't vlogged yet today, but we are headed home from the grocery store and just pulled into the driveway. And Bambi's here right for there. a visit. Yeah, just looking at us. So cool. Good morning, guys. It's just about lunch time, lunch time, <laughs> lunch time on Friday, October, October. Holy cow. Let's try that again. Good morning, everybody. It's just about lunch time on Friday, August 23rd. And I've already gotten um, the social media posts and Patreon posts um, created and scheduled for September. I have... Bob's sweater that I just finished, um, uh, it's blocking right now. I made four crocheted beanies last night for giveaway, um, for the giveaway pile downstairs for charity. And um, those have all the threads woven in and everything and they're down on the shelf. Um, I got the September Daily Drawing Journal done, uh, created and done. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> it is family dinner night tonight, so I have a lot more to do before people come over, and our new rug for the front room is coming today. It wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow, so that's okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop and eat lunch now. I have it in front of me. There we go. And watch some YouTube videos, and then I need to catch up on yesterday's and today's drawings and get those done and photoed. And I haven't been great about posting them every single day on social media, but I am posting them eventually in clumps. Um, so I will try to get everything caught up tonight. And I think the only other thing on my to-do list is to film ahead um, some RT Trio videos um, for the rest of the year, the last few months of the year. So I think I'm going to try to do that um, before the end of the month and get them all done. And I think that's it for the minute. I have been seeing some people taking um, hard-sided travel jewelry cases and turning them into travel art cases, travel sewing boxes, which is really interesting to me. We all know I like making bags and boxes because it's a thing. Um, I'll link a video down below but I think if you do hashtag travel sewing box you'll probably find a bunch of stuff anyway um yeah pretty intriguing so I'm gonna see if I can find some more videos and watch something while I eat lunch all right sounds like a plan I still feel like I'm missing something I don't know what it is <gasps> yes I do too my sister told me about a cleaner that might be able to get the spots out of my carpet from maybe stuff in the art room <laughs> um, and taking things around the corner to the sink. <laughs> um, so I need to message her and find out what that is so I can get some orders. All right, that's it. I'll be back. Hi guys, it is Saturday afternoon. It's about 1.30, August 24th. We've been out doing some shopping looking for I told you all we're redecorating the front room because 
the daughters emptied it of the big furniture. So uh, anyway, we were out looking at stuff. I think we found some things that'll work. We are driving through downtown Portland right now. That clip you just saw is the pretty part. Um, the river and the geese and everything. We are headed over to what's supposed to be an Italian market in Delhi um, that we heard about from a friend. After a quarter of a mile, turn left onto Morrison Bridge. Then ahead, keep left towards the downs. Anyway, so we're gonna go check it out before we go home and see what they have. I've been on the lookout for a good quality Italian ravioli that I don't have to make. Cause yeah. Anyway, hopefully we can find some. I always want some good Italian food. I mean, who doesn't? Anyway, we're gonna do that and then we'll get home, go home and have lunch and I don't know, get up to some nonsense. Maybe watch a movie, I don't know. All right, I'll be hey back. guys, it is four o'clock-ish on Saturday. 10 after? 10, something like that. 4.30. Anyway, we stopped at the Italian market and did buy a few things. Kind of pricey, but oh, yeah. the couple things that we brought, bought and tasted already, i.e. cookies, they were good. Yeah. But yeah, we need to go get some steps now. <laughs> so walk off the 400 calorie Cookie? cookies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. So anyway, we're going to go for a walk, see what we can see. I haven't done any crocheting or anything yet today, but I will. Uh, my bag is still full of yarn that was designated for hats, but my hat basket is full. My giveaway hat basket. Mm -hmm. So I might need to make it into a scrap afghan. Don't know yet. So we'll decide that later tonight. All right. And mister's got his new crochet vest on. I'll put a picture here. Mm -hmm. Fits him really great. And uh, yeah, all right, let's go get some steps. I'll be Before back. I forget again, let's close the vlog. <laughs> all right, so it's been a interesting week, but I got a lot of creativity done, I think. I started a blanket today, another Af uh, scrap afghan today. I'll put a picture here somewhere. And um, it's very bright, but it's gonna be very cute anyway. Um, if I can squeeze in a little bit of creativity into my schedule, you can do it in yours. No matter how crazy your schedule may be, even if it's only five minutes, if you love to be creative, just do it. it make it work. All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget to check the video description out for relevant links. Like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.